Graders, this is Eureka Math. We are working on Module 5, Lesson 3, and the idea today is to compose and decompose right rectangular prisms using layers. Now, I've mentioned layers a couple of times, um, but I want us to look at this a little bit more carefully, and you can use your grid paper to help you. Okay, so let's say I have a rectangular prism and I want to cut it into layers. I can cut it into layers like this, okay? Like a cake. Or if I have a rectangular prism, like this, I can cut it into layers like this, like a slice of bread. Okay, or I could take my rectangular prism, and I'm sorry about my drawing here, and I could cut it the long skinny way like this and make long skinny bread, I guess. Okay, so we're going to cut up rectangular prisms like this, like this, and like this. So let's go to our problem set. Okay, use the prisms to find the volume. Don't forget to write your name. And build the rectangular prism picture below to the left with your cubes. Now. We don't have cubes, so you are going to have to use your imagine, imagination. Decompose it into layers in three different ways and show your thinking on the blank pr prisms. Complete the missing information in the table. Okay, so this is, our, this is our example. And we are going to, first of all, let's cut it this long way, the way I said first way. Okay, the birthday cake. Oh, maybe there's some cream frosting in between those layers. Okay, now, if I have two layers, how many cubes are in each layer? Okay, so if I were looking at this one, that's what that layer would be. And it's two that are the same, and it has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve cubes in it. Okay, so if this is twelve, and this is twelve, the volume of this prism is twenty-four cubic centimeters. Okay. Now for the same problem, I'm going to cut it like bread. Okay. So I've got one, two, three, four, five slices there. One, two, three, four, five. And then here you want to run parallel with that line when you draw your lines. Okay. All right. Now I've cut the layers this way, and I've got one, two, three, four, five, six layers. So here's a layer right here. And how many cubes are in that layer? One, two, three, four. So if there's four, 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 and four, okay. How many uh, cubes in each layer? Four. Well, six times four is 24. All right. Now we're going to do it the long skinny way, and this one's trickier for me. I have to concentrate a little bit more drawing that line, okay? And so this is a layer here, and then the other layer is behind it. So I've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 12 in this layer, and then I've got another 12 behind. So I've got two layers of 12 again, and that's 24 cubic centimeters. Okay, are you getting it? Let's, let's keep trying. <coughs> okay, here's our, here's our rectangle. Let's cut it like a cake again. And it's got one, two lines going that direction. So it's got three layers, right? There's three layers there, one, two, three. And how, much, how many cubes are in each layer? Okay, so here's the top layer. Let's count how many cubes it has in it. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. So three times eight is 24 cubic centimeters. Okay, next one, I'm gonna erase this so I don't confuse you. Now we're gonna slice it like bread. Okay, and I've got one, two, three slices there. So one, two, three slices, and then I'm going to go parallel with that line. One, two, 
three. Okay, and each of those is like this. Okay, and there are six in each one. So six, 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 and six, and there are four layers. So four times six is 24. And now I'm gonna cut it the other way. Okay, I'm gonna cut it this long skinny way here and down. And each side then is a layer, and this has one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And this back side also has twelve. So it has two layers of twelve each, and that makes it twenty-four cubic centimeters. Okay, not too tricky. If you're struggling with it, let me know. Okay, it's a lot of visualization. And don't count the faces, count the cubes. All right. All right, Josh and Jonah were finding the volume of the prism to the right. The boys agree that four layers can be added together to find the volume. Josh, Josh says that you can see the end of the prism, that each layer will have 16 cubes in it. Okay. Jonah says that each layer has 24 cubes in it. Who's right? Explain how you know using words, numbers, and or pictures. Okay, so I'm going to use blue for Josh. And then I'm going to use yellow for Jonah. And Josh and Jonah both agree that you can cut this into four layers, okay, to find the volume. So Josh says that you can see in the end of the prism that each layer will have 16 cubes in it. So I think that Josh, no, I said I was going to use blue for Josh. Josh is cutting his prism like this. Do you see that? where each layer has 16, okay? So he's saying 16, 16, 16, 16, right? No, is he saying that right? Yeah. And Josh says that you can see in the end of the prism that each layer will have 16 cubes in it. Jonah says that each layer has 24 cubes in it. So Jonah is counting his layers this way. Here and then here. Do you see he's using this whole thing? Okay, and he's cutting his layers like that. Now, are they both right? Yes, because one, two, three, the side has 16. It actually has four times four, which is 16. And this layer, this side, has one, two, three, four, five, six, and four, okay? So this side has 24, and this side has 16, okay. So they're both right. Who is right? They are both right. Ah, that was bad writing. They are both right. Um, they cut layers in different ways. Okay, they just moved it around. Now, oh my goodness, that is not good handwriting. There we go. Okay, so let's actually find the, um, let's actually find the volume, just for fun. How are we gonna find the volume of this? Do you remember that volume is length times width times height? So volume equals length times width times height. We know that this is one, two, three, four, and this is one, two, three, four, five, six, and then this is one, two, three, four. So four times six times four equals what? Six times four is 24, sorry. And 24 times four is 96. Okay, cubic centimeters. Good. 
Okay, Marcos makes a prism one inch by five inches by five inches. Okay. He then decides to create layers equal to his first one. Fill in the chart below and explain how you know the volume of each new prism. Okay, so he makes a prism, and I'm going to draw it, okay, because I think I need a picture for this. And it is not that tall. Okay, and you will get better with this with practice, I promise. Okay, so he says it's one inch by five inches by five inches. Okay, he then decides to create equal layers to his first one. Fill in the chart below and explain how you know the volume of each new prism. Well, we know that this volume is 5 times 5, which is 25, right? If we have two layers, that would be 5 and 5 times 2 would be 50, okay? So this one, this is, I wish they had drawn a picture for you. Okay, so here's one layer. And we know that the volume of that one layer is 1 times 5 times 5, right? 1 times 5 times 5, and there's a picture of it. And I could draw in your layers if I write small enough here. Okay, 3, 4, there we go. 5 times 5, right, is 25. So there's 25 inches inside there. We're using inches. Now, if we put in, if we stack, another layer on top, okay, and we just go ahead and use the same dimensions, oop, that's terrible drawing, okay, on top, then we have another 25, so what we did was we, we went from a 1 times 5 times 5 to 2 times 5 times 5, which would be 50, okay. Now we can do it with 4 and make this 4, right, if it had four layers, each layer would be 25. So four times 25 would be, so here you know that this is 25. So four times 25 would be 100. And seven times 100, uh, seven times 25 would be 175. So each layer is 25 inches cubed, and there are two layers. Okay, so here we know there's four layers times 25 inches cubed, and here there are seven layers times 25 inches cubed. Okay, I hope that was clear enough for you. A picture would have been a, a little bit better on that one. Okay, number four. Imagine the rectangular prism below is six meters long. Okay, six meters long. Four meters tall. Four meters tall and two meters wide. Okay. Draw horizontal lines to show how the prism could be de decomposed into layers that are one meter in height. Okay, so if we said it was four meters tall, we are going to cut that into one meter sections, right? And then there are my layers, okay? Draw horizontal lines to show how the prism could be decomposed into layers that are one meter in height. Perfect, we did that. It has how many layers from top to bottom? One, two, three, four. Each horizontal layer contains how many cubic meters? Well, each layer is 6 times 12, so that's 12. So each one would be 12, right? Let me erase that. This would be 12, this would be 12, this would be 12, and this would be 12. The volume of the prism is, okay, well, 4 times 12 is 48, okay? So each layer was 12, and I know that because 6 times 2 is 12. 
I can draw in those layers for you if it would make you feel a little bit better. I'll use a different color. Okay. So let me see. Here's my six, which would be one, two, three, four, five. Right? And then uh, two, two uh, meters going the other way, so I'll pick another color. Uh, how about green? And I'm going to cut this in half and cut that in half. You know, we used to do a lot of area models. These are just three-dimensional area models. That's what they are, right? So two, six, four, okay? All right, I hope that that is easy for you to picture in your mind. Um, finish up and then submit your page um, and then go do the exit ticket, okay? So it's asking you about layers and it's asking you to draw layers. Okay, so if you need to practice before you do it on the exit ticket, do that. Okay, and then finish your lesson three homework. Thank you. Have a good day.